the bloodiest war in American history, the Civil War, we lost 800,000 people. It's estimated that it was about 2% of the American population, about 2% of the American population. If you come to America today, it's 330 million Americans, yes? 2% of that population, you're looking at somewhere around 6.6 .6 million people. And that's not even taking into consideration the modern weapons. We have submachine guns, AR-15s, AK-47s. We have modern weapons would make that number so much greater than just 2%. We're probably looking at somewhere around 4% of the total population. You're talking about 13 million dead Americans if we choose to engage in a civil war. We're talking about 13 million dead Americans. The greatest American alive. There are millionaire race baiters who keep on talking about the, the black-white discrepancy in America, and that's dividing America. And so for a black man like me to say, hey man, we should stop all this racial conversation. We should stop antagonizing other Americans based on the color of their skin. They'll call me a coon or some type of bootlick Uncle Tom when I'm simply an American person who loves my family. I don't want to see my family go to war. I don't want to see anything bad happen to my community. I don't want to see anything bad happen in my nation, but we won't have honest conversations in America. In order for us to understand this nation, we have to understand politics. Politics ain't nothing but war without bloodshed. What is war? War is simply a fight for resources. What happens when you don't have food to eat? That's when you get to the place where you have conflict. And I'm trying to avoid all these conflicts in America, especially when it comes based on racial tension. But everybody on television, I don't care if you're a, a white speaker, if you're on MSNBC, Fox News, these talking heads are trying to destroy America talking about race, race this, race that, race this, race that, gender this, gender that. Let's have an honest conversation about the gender war in America. Uh, the honest truth is there is no gender war in America. Our economy is based on men going to work every single day. If you're driving on a freeway or on a road, that road was constructed by some man who was doing some real hard labor. This is dedicated strictly to the women in America. You're unprotected. If you find yourself in any trouble, what do you do? You get the phone, you dial 911. That's what you do if you're a single woman in America. You call the police. Who are the police? The police are mostly men. That means that some single woman in America, when you call 911, you're calling someone else's husband. You're calling someone else's boyfriend. You're calling someone else's son because you don't have a family to protect yourself. Holy Christ, single women, you better get you some protection. And how? Do, and what's the form of protection in America? A man, a good old old fashioned man. You need a tally whacker to protect your home. A tally whacker is more better than a gun because he's going to put his body in the line of harm's way. <laughs> If we can't have honest conversations in America about how our country exists, how our economy exists, and what politics are, this great nation is going to fall apart. I know racism is real, but every person in the world ain't racist. Every white man in America ain't racist. Every white person in America is not racist. And for us to think that, that's a lie. That's the thing in America right now. Most people are not willing to fight for and die for the things that they believe. They're just talking. There are consequences when you say stupid things. If you offend a person, there are consequences. Just look at Kanye West. He offended an entire community and that community has descended upon him and said, you will apologize and acknowledge my plight. I'm not judging anybody else based on the color of their skin. The color of your skin don't matter. And the people who are telling you that the color of your skin matters, they're rich. <laughs> go, go see where they live. We just had a global pandemic. We lost 6 million people worldwide. And we said, man, that was a complete atrocity. But right now in America, we're having conversations that are leading to internal division and internal strife and we won't even acknowledge the fact that it can lead to more than six million dead people in this nation alone that's why i talk about white folks because they live in america with me that's why i talk about mexican folks because they live in america with me that's why i talk about black folks because we're right here in america and we share this great country with other ethnicities and if we don't learn how to work together and have honest conversations on dispersing resources to all the american people we're going to have civil unrest and right now having this conversation protects us and prevents us from going down a historical calamity. The most important thing in America right now is to fight for freedom through having actual dialogue that builds America, that understands the fundamental foundation of what makes America great. The greatest American alive, baby. The American people make America great. And you are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.